look at this. We've got two of the greatest athletes of all time, two of the greatest boxers of all time, the baddest man on the planet, the one and only Mike Tyson, and Mr. Yal must have forgot himself, the one and only Roy Jones Jr. Again, they do battle for the very first time on November 28th, live on TysonOnTriller.com. What do you think of how he looks to you, Roy? Oh, yeah, I think he looked awesome. I mean, he looked very good. I was very proud to see him be able to bounce back the way he did because most guys at, at 54, they start to count themselves out. And you got to think about boxing with me. When I came along at 32 year old, years old, you were considered an old guy. You couldn't box no more. Now to see Mike be able to hit the pads and hit the body bag the way he's doing it, I mean, it's phenomenal. It's crazy. But we're freaks. That's why this is such a big thing. We're two guys two of the most explosive guys to ever touch the boxing ring. At 54, I got to watch him beat the, beat the mitts in the bag more, rather than any other young guy right now because it's so exciting. And at 51, I'm so fast that people are looking at it and saying, they got to be speeding this up. No, they're not. But when you got a, two legends like that, how can you not get right? He inspires me just by how hard he's working and how much he's preparing to get it back in the ring. And he's three years older than me. So if he can do it, why can't I? I know I'm smaller, but what it is tighter than anything knowing that you're fighting eight rounds with the 12 ounce gloves do you still prepare with that same intensity that you did back in the day do you still train with that same intensity that you did back in the day um i honestly you have to be a fool not to you go in the ring with one of the most dangerous men to ever grace the boxing ring how could you go in there with 12 ounce gloves on which is only two ounces bigger than what you normally fight in you got on 12 ounce gloves you know, with the hardest, one of the hardest punches in boxing history, the youngest heavyweight champ of all time, and you're going to not prepare to your utmost of intensity? Are you crazy? It should be even better or higher than your last time or your last or your most intent times were because this is a bigger situation. You got Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, and I'm coming to fight, and I, and I hope he's coming to fight, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> First of all, if you think you can go in the ring with Mike Tyson, the last guy that did an exhibition with Mike got dropped in the first round. And if you don't know that, then there's something wrong with you. So who goes in the ring with the great legendary Mike Tyson and think, oh, this is the exhibition? 12 ounce gloves, no headgear, really? This is an exhibition? Come on, bro, be for real. The last time I was 215 pounds, I believe I was what? 18 or 17 years old, so um, I'm really, um, I'm really happy with um, everything that's, that I've been doing. And um, it's just total um, confidence and, um, and self-affirmation. And man, it's just amazing. I'm just ready to do this stuff. Uh, Roy, um, what, what about you? Is this a one and done, or do you plan on continuing to go after this fight? I mean, for me, uh, I used to judge about how I feel that night. I really wasn't planning on going anymore. I thought I was done. But when you get a call from Mike Tyson's team say, hey, Mike want to fight you, <laughs> that's bucket list material. You feel me? I mean, you can't turn. That's something that every, you know, every, everywhere I go in life, the first thing a young kid would ask me, hey, have you ever fought Mike Tyson? And I don't know why they used to always ask me that. But they always, they say, their kids, first question is, have you ever fought Mike Tyson? Now I don't have to say no no more. I'm so glad to get this opportunity because now I can say, yes, I did. Mike and Roy, this is actually for both of you guys. Floyd Mayweather had an epic rant about there's too many sanctioning belts, too many sanctioning bodies involved in boxing. So I'm wondering and why you two guys, two of the biggest stars in the sport, are involving the WBC in this? And and so like why involve them at all or any of the alphabet organizations? Why is that important? First of all, first of all, I don't give a damn what nobody say. It ain't got to do with me. I don't give a damn what none of them say. I do what I do. My business is my business. I don't care what he and nobody else say. That, this ain't got nothing to do with him. So he can stay over there in his land and do what he do. Let me do what I do. Secondly, when I was fighting, I wouldn't like them. I wouldn't have got every belt possible that I could get in my weight class at the time. And Mike did the same thing. We come from the old school. It wasn't no talk about we want, uh, we'll take this with, no, 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 no. We want every belt you got. I don't care what kind of belt it is. It could be the, the Joe Patti Seafood uh, belt. I want that. I don't care what it was. If you had a belt in my weight class, in my prime, I wanted that. So right now, you think you want to see me perform, you put a belt on the line. I'm sorry, but it's like drugs. I just can't say no. <laughs> you offer me a title, you, you got me, baby. We, we, we got to do it now. So it don't mean nothing to people like him, maybe, but it meant the world to me. 
And he said it all. Guys, again, it, it is surreal to see you uh, sitting here in front of us. We are less than a month away, November 28th, on TysonOnTriller.com and also all over the world on pay-per-view. It's going down from the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. It's a heavyweight fight sanctioned by the WBC and no headgear, uh, no, no, no rules stopping these two from going uh, full force. We will see who the better man is, the 54-year-old Mike Tyson or the 51-year-old Roy Jones Jr. Thank you so much for the time, guys, and best of luck to you in the final month of training.